What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pitfall of the Lost Expedition. In the last episode, we made it to the Copacanti Lake, and I was really sad with the sad music, but also had a bit of a little bit of a gleamer of hope in it. It was really adorable. Uh, not really. This is the Mountain Sled Run, one of my favorite levels in this game, and um, I'm just gonna come out right now and tell you guys I messed something up. This is actually a re-recording. Uh, at this point. I've actually recorded this the rest of this game, but um, I was deleting old footage last night of stuff I've already edited, and I accidentally deleted one video too much, so I accidentally deleted what you, this video you guys are seeing, and you're maybe wondering, well, how are we seeing it then? Well, it's, it's because I'm re-recording it. <laughs> so I had to replay the game uh, through a lot of it, just to get to this part. I think I missed some idols, and look at the snowman, Nikki the snowman. I think I missed some idols and shamans or something, but it doesn't really matter too much because I know exactly what I missed because I still have the audio file from this episode. So I just looked at that and it was like, okay, well, I missed this and this and this, or I got this, this, oh, oh, I fell to the trees. So I was like, okay, I know I got this, this, and this in this video because I, I could hear myself talking about it. And I know exactly how far I got thanks to watching the journals and listening to my commentary. So thankfully, it's not as horrible of a situation as uh, I might think, it, or as like you know I thought it was originally. I'm still still, still pretty sad about it. <laughs> the last time, the the only save I had before this was before we got the shield even. So um, it, it was quite a while playing. Actually, it only took like two hours or something to get back to this point. But it's still, it's like you know, kind of annoying. But hey, at least I'm kind of happy I get to play this game again. <laughs> so yeah, whoa, going down the mountain sled run. One thing I didn't know about this originally, I will kill the natives. Is um, when you jump off something. Here, I'll actually I'll show you at this next jump here. Oh no, you can jump off like that, and like you get good air, right? But I did not know. Uh, uh, we actually want to go this way, and I missed it. Oh good lord, no! I want to go back, please. I want whoa. Oh come on, no! I'm going crazy! Holy crap! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! No, no! Whoa! I was okay. That was a bit weird. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. A bit strange. I just, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm going the wrong way again. No, I have to go inside that guy's mouth. Just trust me. <laughs> uh, okay. Please, 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 please. Oh, oh, okay. Phew. I don't miss it. Uh, oh, there we go. See, so, yeah, that was all for idle. Huh. Oh no. Okay, so. <laughs> when you press A, you get a lot more air than you would if you don't press A. Holy crap, that was scary. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, for our rewards, we could see a shaman. Hola, my lady. And unfortunately, I know exactly everything I'm buying in this episode. Uh, I think I see three shams in total. So we're gonna get the break dance for ten points or idols or break dance strike. With this move, I could deliver a 360 degrees attack that smashes through enemy shields and other defenses, uh, and makes me invulnerable to attacks. Great for fighting large groups of enemies. So look, look at the stupid face on Harry's face. The face, face. He's received the breakdance strike. To start the move, press Y and X. Then when the move starts, keep hitting B as fast as you can and keep it going. So, essentially, we're getting this at a point in the game where it's kind of pointless. So yeah, all you do is you crouch and you press X to start spinning and then you press B a bunch if you don't. <laughs> Harry does this, yeah, stance and it's amazing. Yeah, wee! So this is kind of like the, actually this is exactly like the spin just move. So, it's like the pickaxe spin as well, and yeah, if you spin around too much, you get dizzy. Uh, rapidly, you shake off that dizziness, tap A and such, yeah. So yeah, when you don't jump over the sledge to get to the shaman, you actually can't make it to him, which is really, like, crazy to me. And I had a lot of problems with that in my original Let's Play, I think when I first played this game as well. And what's on here? Huh, I'm actually not too sure what that is. So, yeah. And, yeah, I got a comment on this area. Doesn't it just look like a freaking chunk error in Minecraft? It's just so flat and just weird. It's just, it's so strange to me. And, like, you even, you, I don't know how well it's picking up on the footage, but you can even, like, see the squares in the water where, like, the blocks end, per se, I guess. I guess they're technically not blocks, but, you know. I don't know, just a little minor detail. I was like, well, that was kind of lazy of them, I guess. Like, that's just, it's just flat. They couldn't have added rocks or something in there. Look at the giant penis coming off the wall. Actually, it kind of looks like an elephant, doesn't it? Look, 
the two, like the white snow mound right there above my head right now. They're like the ears. It's an elephant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then to the Apu Elapu Shrine. Probably mispronouncing that. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, even though the statue's like, oh, Behold! Behold the Apu Elapu Shrine! Alright. Oh, I hear explosions. Oh, whoa, this is so epic. They gotta seal 17 doors. <gasps> I want to see Claire's man. It looks different. What is he trying to explode? Is he just throwing them at walls? What's going on here? Spinjos! All right, let's actually try to break that. Oh no, move here. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Seriously, dude. So yeah, to avoid getting dizzy, you just should stop using the breakdown spin. <laughs> so it's exactly like the um, pickaxe spin. It's like exactly to like to a T. But yeah, these guys can be a bit of a pain sometimes. There's so many of them. Well, not really. I think there's like five. Uh, uh, and thankfully they pause long enough for you to get to them. They have to hit them twice. <laughs> these guys look so much like the snowboarders. Snowboarders to me. Though. Oh no. It's crazy when you bump things with the pickaxes because you just go flat all over the place. Kind of like when the two, when I was trying to get to that one idol a few seconds ago on the snow run thing, where I was bouncing all over the place with it. All right. I believe the smash ray could also maybe do something against them. Hello? See, the thing is, it just it takes so long. As it's not really even worth it. I believe the super sling could also do something, but they're, they're just too quick for it. There we go. I saved the guy. Oh, are you serious? Oh, that would have been amazing if I hit got like three of them up for one there. Yeah, one of the most annoying things when trying to catch up in this game again to record this one single episode <laughs> was the fact that, um... Actually, it was the Penguin Temple. That gave me so much troubles this time. I don't know. Just Harry, whenever he would do the spin attack, evil Harry, he would, um, he would bash me into the water. Whenever you get back to the water, you have to start the entire match over. It was really frustrating. I probably died four or five times at the last bit of health. Come on, come on! Good crazy! Go crazy! Kamehameha! Did I see him? Is that it? Yeah! Whoosh! You just saved me from multiple stab wounds. I'm gonna give you something very precious. Dynamite! When you yes. blow something up, think of me! Thanks. Oh, you're a member of Bittenbinder's group, right? Name's Mole. Demolition expert. You need anything blown up? Come to me. Need anything blown up? Uh... Nope. Wanna hear something strange? Try me. I've been digging around. I discovered that El Dorado was built on top of the ruins of another ancient city but one which is just about identical to El Dorado itself. Nicole and Puska were fascinated. They were together? She's trying to free that poor native from under St. Clair's yoke. She's a real do-gooder, that girl. If you see her, tell her I say hi. So, yeah. TNT. Yes. Finally, I would be able to blow up all those walls I'd seen everywhere, starting with that first one I'd found near the crash site. I thought things were finally going my way. I couldn't have been more wrong. The way he says TNT, yes! It's a really memorable quote to me. I don't know why, but I just remember that whenever I think of TNT, I think of TNT, yes! You've received TNT! With it, you'll be able to blow up on all those block passages you've seen, and any attacker dead in their tracks. Hold C down to aim, and then C up to throw. Kaboom! And with that. We have gotten by far the most OP item in this game. With TNT, it pretty much makes the slingshot irrelevant, the shield irrelevant, the gas mask irrelevant. The gas mask because you could, instead of like the Plantus Noxious, you could you could just kill them with the TNT, <laughs> and that's the only way to kill them. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it's holding down C to go into this aiming mode, then, oops, and then you flip it up, it explode, and yeah, if you tap C up, you could just throw it randomly all. It's crazy luck, yeah!
right. So yeah, I got a comment on the statue too. I used to think this this was like Buddha or something, but getting a closer look at it, it doesn't really look like him. And if you actually come over here, see it's double sided and really cracked, but you know, still I really like this statue. It's really cool. But yeah, that's the only time you see Mole in this game, which is kind of sad to me because Mole's a really cool character. He's a cool guy and he doesn't afraid of anything. It's true, he doesn't. And with my big fat ass, I block the geyser and it makes me shoot up and... What a weird way to... What a weird quick transportation method. <laughs> yeah, it brings us all the way to the White Valley for some reason. I don't know. Um, so let's give this shaman a rude awakening! <laughs> and he just stays asleep for some reason. That's weird, if you throw the TNT far enough away, he just goes back to sleep. If you're close enough, it will wake him up. Alright, extra health. So yeah, now we actually only have extra health and canteen and stuff to buy from the shaman. And after that, we'll be completely done with the shaman! Sheeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Oh, <laughs> okay then. Yeah, here's the explorer apparently. Gotcha. Oh, you know what? I guess the explorers get random accents because when I saved him a few minutes ago when I was practicing to make sure I was going to get everything, he was English. Huh, that is very interesting. Actually, you're going to want to take out your TNT here. Just tr because of these guys. <laughs> Listen, just trust me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Spin jaws. You definitely want to take these guys out because these guys will freaking murder your face off in these tiny corridors. Uh. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Some sandy cheeks for you. Sandy butt cheeks. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, I just knew that guy was coming. It was pure instinct and totally not because I've done this multiple times. <laughs> no. um, I believe there's going to be another. Oh, there. Yep. And get back. No. No, 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 no. Jeez, this is what I'm talking about. I should probably drink my canteen. I have two health left, but if those guys corner me and hit me multiple times, I am so screwed. That should be enough, because we're actually coming up to the shaman right meow. Ah, oh, I thought I double killed, but it did not double kill. So let's go grab the idol first. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright. Wake up! Wake up! Hola, my Atus. That's freaking three shamans already. That's crazy. And yeah, we have just enough idols to buy this one. Yeah. Yay! I'm so happy, and yeah, it also refills my health, which is, which is great, and that's definitely why it's good to buy health in here instead of, well, anything else really. <laughs> yeah. Although this does mark pretty much the end of this place. Um, let's take a look at our notes here. I want to see if I miss no, not our notes, sorry, our map. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we've completed this area then. So yeah, that is our idle extravaganza. Oh, also I do feel the need to mention here, and that's the way back by the way in case you're wondering, huh, why is there a climbable wall down that path? That's where the explorer was and all that. Um, I'm assuming I've changed the shaman counts, maybe? Uh, see the thing is, on my sidebars it says 8, but when I went to save the game and all that, it turns out I actually have 10 shamans. I don't know how I missed 2, and it really worries me a little bit. By the way, this drops down right near the entrance here. See, there we go. Outside, here we go. To the Valley of the Spirits. So, I don't know, I have yet to figure out exactly what went wrong. I'm assuming I just um, edited shamans I got in areas, but I forgot to actually put it in that I got them. So, um, yeah, so sorry about that. <clears throat> Anyways, let's take a look at our journal. And you'll see all these entries on red. Uh, I did read them, but then I saved before leaving the area. Um, I believe you read this one, right? Yeah. Okay, so that was when we turned to a penguin. So I believe I read that one the last episode, I hope. In case I didn't, I'm just going to throw these all out there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So, entry 22. Uh, January 25th, 1935. 4.20 p.m. Please, it's... <laughs> what? <laughs> it's funny how they made it 4.19 instead of 4.20. I wonder if that was specifically... They specifically made it not 4.20. Mole! Find another member of Bittenbinder's party named Mole. Why does Bittenbinder hire all these guys with animal names? Leech? Mole? <laughs> That's a good point. That is weird. Uh, saved him from becoming a spin spinja kebab, and in return, he gave me some TNT of my very own. Nice! That should be make life a little easier. <laughs> yeah, a little easier. Then he started babbling about finding the ruins of an ancient city built on top uh, of the ruins of that same city. I didn't quite follow him, but I think he's probably digging, a, uh, digging underground too long. So I don't think that's ever actually explained. I don't know if that's actually, like, El Dorado War or something in the real world. It, it might be, because I don't think that's ever really specifically explained why there's, like, two cities and such. Anyways, he told me that he'd seen the coal with Puska, probably heading to another spirit temple. Great. But come to think of it, I could probably use this TNT to blow up that temple I saw near the crash site, crash site, crash site this morning. I bet that's where they're heading, back to the jungle. So yeah, it's at this point of the game where we've actually explored... All all the like big areas and really it's all just backtracking at this point we'll still be visiting new spots but it won't be like here's a new area now here's another new area now here's another new area it'll be more like here's an area here's an area here's an area here's an area here's a new area <laughs> anyways this is a breakdown smash 
um, from the Heroic Handbook. This move is attributed to the famous French bandit Jack La Liberté. La Liberté. Uh, French? <laughs> How do you French? He took great pleasure in simultaneously disarming and humiliating his opponents with his flourishing dance combat style. This move, his most powerful, is capable of stopping all but the mightiest beasts in I thought it said breasts, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> in their tracks, smashing through any shielding they might try to employ. And the user looks great doing it! Yay! And then finally... Uh, where is it? The inventory, there we go. Uh, it's all, I still, I want, I really want to comment again how weird they order everything in here, but okay. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Kaboom! Now this is firepower. Not only can I use this to instantly take out all but the toughest enemies, but it's also useful for blowing open all those cave-ins I've been seeing throughout this region. Yep, so with TNT, as overpowered as it is, it pretty much unlocks everything in this world to us. Um, we can get pretty much anything. Oh, I'm gonna pull the TNT oh, I can pretty much get any- Whoa! I didn't expect them to attack me like that. Both of them. Whoa! What the? Big woods are gods. They can't. They, can't. they, can't. they can't. How are you still alive? How? Jeez. He took like 17 freaking TNT blows to the face. Crazy, man. <laughs> so, yeah, TNT pretty much unlocks every single idol, every single explorer, every single area to us in the game that we, have, that we cannot, that we could not get. So, <laughs> uh, that's awkwardly worded. But whatever. You guys get my point. I wish to kill you for having fun. I know I was talking earlier that I don't want to kill the ones just having fun, but I must kill the ones having fun. Trust me. Are you serious? It's just not meant to be, man. It's just not meant to be. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe already. Um, this is Chris, Future Chris leaving you off now. In the next episode, I will totally pretend like nothing ever happened because nothing ever happened. Uh, and by nothing ever happened, I mean, whoa, that guy's floating in, in the midair. <laughs> and by nothing ever happened, I mean, it'll be like, uh, it, it'll be the old recordings again instead of having to re-record stuff. Okay, sound great, sound great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!